Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Revive Me. Today I'm gonna show you how to play Sonic Unleashed on the Xenia Canary build on Xbox. So what you wanna do is extract it. I will be doing the USB method for this, but if you have FTP, you can do this through FTP as well. So once you extract it, all we're gonna do is drag this folder right into our USB. I already have it, so I'm just gonna click skip this file. And then once we do this, we're going to head over to our Xbox. All right, but now that I'm on the Xbox, I'm going to go to Advanced File Explorer, Full Trust. If you don't have this app, I have a tutorial on my channel. That would be the USB method to add in the configuration file. So if you find that video, that would show you how to get the app. All right, so first off, when we're in the app, make sure to plug in your USB. Now I bet now that USB is plugged in, what we're going to do is at the bottom right here on this tab, we're going to click on it. We're going to hover over to local disk. This would be our USB drive. At the bottom, this little tab checklist here, we're going to click on this. Hover over to the folder that we dragged. It would be this one with the numbers 5345812. Click A on this. Then what we're going to do is press the start button and then click copy. Once you click copy, now this little thing at the bottom that we clicked on, we're just going to click on it again. Then on the left side at the top, there is a star. We're going to click on this. Go to local. Go to packages. Then for me, I'm using the Canary build. So at the bottom, mine is the 63830. I'm going to click on this. Click on local state. Go to content. And then now that you see all these folders, these are most of the games that you have tried or have saved data for already. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the start button. Click on paste. And then give that about a minute. But for me, it says this because I already have the file. And then once that's done, we're going to try to run the game and show you that it's working. I bet once the game starts, just press start. Yes, sir. Now that we see that we're finally past that start screen. And now that it says this, you could either continue on the save game or you could create a new game file. I would just do this. And then now that you created a new save state, every time you go into the game, you will be able to get into the game. So hope this helped. If it did, please hit that like and follow for more. And I'll catch y'all later.